Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. Now this is going to be a word of caution as well as a spiritual insight on the time and the hour that is upon us. There is a time of visitation that many are stepping into and you must stay awake. You must be found on your watch. You must have a heart of expectation and most of all you have to resist the temptation to settle or to accept the status quo. Before we get into this word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Lord. Thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word. And I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. And I pray that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you see. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 14 to 17, it reads like this. Therefore, he says, awake you who sleep, arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. Walk in wisdom, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is is now this is an hour to be expectant this is an hour for you to be alert this is an hour for you to be found on your watch this is not time for you to be spiritually asleep now listen the spirit of weariness usually attacks right before the harvest it attacks just right before a major breakthrough that is the time when there is a temptation for you to give up that is the time where you get this temptation to cave in you get this temptation to let go and many fall into a spiritual slumber because of the intensity of the attack from the spirit of heaviness because of the intensity of the attack from the spirit of slumber and paralysis now just before a great harvest just before a major breakthrough there is always an overwhelming urge to sleep and i mean this spiritually there is an overwhelming urge for you to take a break you see you start looking at how far you have come and how long it has taken you to be there to get there and then you get you just have this feeling like i just need to take a break i need to to just relax and just 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 rest for a while the devil is gonna try to convince you to take a break the devil is gonna try to show you just how tired you are the focus is gonna be on how tired you are and how you don't have the strength to keep pushing the demonic forces of heaviness and the spirit of slumber intensifies it's a Turk right before a major breakthrough right before a great harvest anytime you find yourself struggling to pray anytime you find it so difficult for you to stand on your watch anytime you find that your prayer life is under attack know that that there is a time of visitation that is upon you know that there is a major breakthrough just about to happen and the resistance and the opposition is for you to succumb to weariness the resistance and the opposition is to make you miss out on the timing of god right before bathing is when the pain becomes so intense and it is a it is at a point when the body is weak, your strength is gone, but you know that you still have to make that last push. Isaiah 66 verses 9, it says, Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord. Shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb, says the Lord. It is at the very end that the battle becomes overwhelming. That is when weariness kicks in. Now, please do understand me. Getting tired is never the issue. We all do get tired at some point. As long as you are in this body, you are going to get tired at some point the 
the Bible says that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And that is why God's strength is perfected in our weakness. And when we are weak, then he is strong in us. Now, the issue here is quitting on the assignment. The issue is walking away from the calling. The issue is abandoning your purpose. No matter how tired the 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 body is you don't walk away or stop doing what you know is right to do when you grow weary in doing what you have been instructed to do is when you grow weary in well doing basically is when there is danger now listen there comes a time when you are not going to have the same level of energy. You are not going to have the same level of zeal or even the same passion that you started with. Even in the natural, when you start something, maybe like jogging, running, driving, name it. There's always a lot of energy at the beginning, but as you progress, as you keep at it, your energy is going to start going down. Your energy level is going to start going down and then you start focusing on when it's going to come to an end. You start calculating the timeline you see in the natural we have a time that we can estimate how long it's gonna take but spiritually god operates in his timing and that can be very challenging and that can also be very frustrating to the natural mind in the natural since you have a destination or you have a desired goal you are not gonna stop you keep on moving because you know that there's somewhere you're going you know that you have an end goal. You must know that God has an expected end prepared for you. And if you know that, you are not going to succumb to the spirit of heaviness. You are not going to succumb to the spirit of slumber. Now listen, you have to stay woke. A visitation is upon you. You see, in the natural, when you find yourself low on energy and your pace may not even be like when you started, you don't stop. You, you just keep at it because you have a desired end in mind. You must have the same resolve even in the spirit you have to purpose and settle it in your mind that you are not gonna stop you are not gonna quit you are not gonna let go you are not gonna cave in no matter what until you get to the end of the matter no matter how much pressure you go through, no matter how much torment you go through, know that God has an expected end for you. Your physical man may feel beat up, but your spirit man is always renewed as long as you stick with the Lord. You must stand on God's word, adhere to his instructions and through his command. Resist the temptation to fall asleep. The book of Proverbs 24 verses 33 to 34, it reads like this. A little slumber, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. So shall your poverty come like a prowler and your need like an armed robber now listen stay woke okay there is a visitation that is upon you so don't miss out on it you have to stay on your watch like never before in this hour you may not have the strength to pray like you used to in the past but just show up show up on your watch the holy spirit is gonna put his words in your mouth he's gonna give you the words to speak what the father is saying it says in the book of isaiah 40 31 but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagle they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint there is a visitation that is upon you so you have to stay walk may the lord abundantly bless you i love you so so much but the lord he loves you so much more he loves you than everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in christ jesus shalom and blessings